What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Um, I'm here in our um, new to us 2016 Toyota Land Cruiser. Um, we bought this uh, last Friday and uh, when I was looking over the vehicle I noticed that the cabin air filter was dirty so I ordered a new one and I want to show you guys how to replace that. It's a little tricky on the Land Cruiser so let me show you um, what you got to do. All right guys here in the Land Cruiser um, this is the filter I use on Amazon. Uh, you can get two of them for 12 bucks. Um, I used it in my Tundra. I used it on the Foreigner before. Well, we traded in for this. And as you can see, it fits uh, Forerunner 2010, 2016, Tundra 2007 to current. And then the Land Cruiser on there, 08 to current. So I know it fits. Um, I, um, I like it on my truck. I usually place these twice a year anyways, just because we drive so much gravel. And dusty conditions so anyway so on the Land Cruiser and like all Toyotas that I've done so far the counter filter is in the glove box so open the glove box you just push this and then back there is the cabin air filter compartment so you'll have these tabs here and then here like that it's got instructions on how to access it So, as you can see, it's open, but this door does come down. I'll show you that right now. So, that door comes down anytime you have it in outside air. So, when I change it back to recirculate, it opens up. And that's key. You want it open. A lot of dealers will can break this by forcing it up. But anyways, the cabinet filter is in a tray. So to get it out, uh, there's two tabs here. Right here. And then right here. And then the tray comes out. And as you can see, it's really dirty. I don't think the dealer ever changed this. Or the previous owner. So, um... It's a little different than my uh, Tundra and the Forerunner because it didn't have this tray. But so to get it out of the tray, let me see. We have to go from the top. So let me see if I can one hand this. And I'll show you guys how I. Oh, easy. Oh, you saw that. You just push it in like that. Filter slides out. Also to note, so this is an OEM filter. I'm assuming. Um, because it never looks like it was replaced. The up on the OEM filters is the orientation. On the EP Auto, I'll show you, it has an arrow for which way the air should flow. Big difference. This is, Toyota says the filter should go up. The EP Auto says the arrows are for the air flow. So let me show you that and it'll make more sense. All right, guys, so I have the EP Auto on top and the OEM filter on the bottom. As you can see, the OEM filter has the orientation of the filter, which way, the, which side should face up. And EP Auto has where the airflow should go. So the arrows will point down the EP Auto. On the OEM, it'll point up. So let me get that uh, filter installed here. So push it in. Yep, wrong way. Let's go sideways. Like so. Just like that. And to reinstall, it's the same way I just took it out. I just want to make sure it clears it so I'm going to turn into regular do the outside air and it does so put the door back on there here two clips and there you go all right guys so that's how you replace the cabin air filter on the 200 series Land Cruiser sorry if I'm sweating it's really hot here and humid in Missouri but I hope the video was helpful. Um, I know for me, I had no idea how to do it until I read the manual. And then I saw in the forms um, that you had to have it in the um, recirculate for the door to go up, actually, to get to the filter. So 
Hope that was helpful. If you liked the video, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked the video, and let me know what you think in the comments. Um, hopefully I can do some more 200 series Land Cruiser content, along with my Tundra that's out here. And uh, appreciate you guys watching the video. Have a great night.